to perfection is all the men that he called perfect made major mistakes in their lives. So perfection has to do with an attitude. I am going to fight sin to blood. That's what the scripture says. I am going to do whatever I can to keep sin out of my life. And if I have to fight, I'm going to fight with diligence to be free from sin. And if you do that, you're going to do a lot better than you say, well, God understands. I'm a sinner. You become a saint. You become a child of the king when you get saved. Now, you will make mistakes. But that's where God's grace comes in. As long as you are willing to repent, God will forgive you and cleanse you of that sin. Mm. Why in the world would I want to just take on the body of sin all over again? You know what that does? If you accept the doctrine that you're still a sinner after you get saved, then you're, you're, the Bible says that you are Nailing them to the cross all over again. That's what God's grace is about. is giving you the ability to have God and still learn by making mistakes. As long as you have the right attitude that I am going to fight to get out of that mistake and not make that one again. Let me make a new one. As we grow older in Christ and become more experienced, we will learn how to make less and less mistakes. Let me tell you how this is going to work. And then we're going to end. I got, I got verse 10 to read and we're done. Let me tell you how this is going to work. If you will repent of your sins. Get baptized in Jesus name for the remission of your sins. And receive the Holy Ghost. To have the power to stay free from your sin. This is what's going to happen. At first you're going to be like a newborn baby. And, and I don't know a newborn baby that switches to, to, to training pants is, and is perfect. They poop their pants. This is not rocket science. This is very simple to understand. You're going to get poopy every once in a while. You are going to make mistakes. But in the beginning, that's normal. After you've been in Christ for a while, you've been in Christ 10 years, and you're still making the same mistakes that you were making when you were a little kid in God. Something's wrong, and we need to fix it. And in God, we can fix it. We can just find out what the problem is. Through the word of God, it'll be ministered to. So as you are living for God, yeah, you'll make a mistake, but it shouldn't be every day. I didn't do anything wrong today, but go to work, take care of my children, come home, eat dinner, and come to church. Now, yesterday I may have done something wrong. But I'm going to repent of those things. When I make mistakes, I'm going to fight to blood to keep those things out of my life. God's grace is awesome. Let's stand right now. Aren't you glad that you don't have a, a drill sergeant, a, a skull and bones God, that when you do something the first time, he wipes you out and you're finished and you have no ability to go any further. Aren't you grateful? That you have a God that gives you an opportunity. And you don't deserve it, church. You don't deserve that opportunity after what he did for you, for you to sin again. You do not have open freedom to do whatever you want. But because of God's grace, he will give you that opportunity. Verse 10 says, Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence to make your election or your calling an election sure. You've got to be diligent, church, fighting against sin. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Mm. Wow. These altars are open right now. There shouldn't be anybody staying in their seat. You all should be up here in a few minutes getting you some Holy Ghost in this place. These altars are open for your access to God's grace. You can get it from your seat, but God wants you to come down here. God wants you to come to this place that he calls an altar so that he can bless you. I want you to stand, son. God's...
you.